glad to be able to meet you here, um, especially since for the last three, four years, we enjoyed very successful times in Greece as Lufthansa. Um, our numbers are, have been very satisfying and the outlook into the future is also very satisfying. And that is clearly with the help of um, and the support of our partners in Greece, which are the travel agents that we closely work with, but which is also at JN Airlines, our partner uh, in Star Alliance, that we enjoy a very close and very special partnership with. And um, we support each other by them using our networks in Frankfurt and Munich, and we using the network in Athens to connect in Greece to the Greek islands and from the Greek islands. Um, for now, looking at new destinations, um, yes, we are watching a couple of destinations very closely. Uh, we are always looking into Thessaloniki and the opportunities in Thessaloniki. We are always looking at the Greek islands. But um, as the Lufthansa DNA, we typically try to fly a destination all year round. Uh, the Greek islands, unfortunately, are not an option for that because um, you don't have hotel capacity during the winter. Although I, I still believe, and I believe for the last 20 years, that uh, tourism to Greece or to Crete, for example, in the winter could be a very interesting business. And um, But we are in a chicken and egg problem where we can't fly more capacity if there's no hotels and if probably if we don't fly, the hotels don't open during the winter. So I would request from the Greek tourism authorities and on our event where we introduced the 7478 uh, to Athens and to the Greek customers, we had the Minister for Tourism at the time participating and I would encourage her still around, right? Yes. yes. I would encourage her to support us in the, and us and the other airlines in promoting Greece for winter, uh, which I think would create a lot of jobs and create a lot of opportunity for additional business. And Greece is a fantastic destination for that. And your neighboring countries have proven that this is possible to create tourism during times when you didn't imagine that it would be possible. And with the cultural heritage of Greece and the, the offer, um, for especially the high-end tourists that are not just lying on the beach during the summer, I think that's a very good proposition. So looking around these thoughts, uh, we'll continue to grow our business, um, focusing on the traffic from Greece to Europe and North America specifically, with our 20 destinations in North America and our excellent connecting points in Frankfurt and Munich, where we have just upgraded the infrastructure um, additionally, upgrading the onboard products. Uh, we saw the new premium economy here. I think that's a good preposition uh, for the intercontinental routes. Um, we're a relevant player in the Greek market, and we will continue to try to be a fight for being a relevant player, and also fight to be a good partner for the for the Greek travel agents, as we hopefully been in the past. Coming back to our numbers, I think our numbers wouldn't be where they are if we were not a good partner for everybody. And um, if I also look at the Greek corporate structure, uh, based around SMEs, uh, you don't have an industrial structure with the big names or the big, the big offers, so SME is very important. And the marine business is very important. Greece is for us, or the office in Athens is one of our biggest um, producers of uh, marine business. With, um, with the Greek marine industry and the naval industry being relevant not only to Greece but on a global scale. That is a very important sector of our business. In addition to the SME and the visit friends and relatives business, um, because you find Greeks everywhere. Um, in Berlin, in Chicago, um, in Australia, where unfortunately we don't fly. But um, so, in spite of the fact that Greece is a relatively small country with 8 million population around that, it is a very relevant market for us and it has always been a relative.